Hello everyone, I'm Orkut Lobsher, and today we're bringing you the latest Core Chronicles episode, featuring a whole host of news, updates, improvements, and things to look forward to straight from the heart of the Core ecosystem. So sit back and enjoy as we review what our team was able to achieve over the last week. First up, the moment many of you have been eagerly awaiting the listing of XCB and CTN on a new exchange. This marks a significant milestone, opening new avenues for our community and enhancing the cryptocurrency's life cycle through increased liquidity, which uh, the listing broadens the trader base, enhancing price discovery and market activity. It's also um, expanding the market reach, where it shines a spotlight on our cryptocurrencies, attracting new investors and potentially boosting demand. It also enhances credibility. Listing on a reputable exchange adds a layer of trust, focusing our adherence to high standards. It also increases trading opportunities, which it offers users more ways to engage with various trading pairs and features. It also brings community growth, welcoming new enthusiasts, further strengthening our community. So let's talk about the current status and the progress of the listing. Well, we're pleased to announce that they have almost finished the backend work and integration, um, which are currently doing, uh, which they're currently doing the final tests before the listing process will be completed on the new exchange. Regardless, for those of you who would like to get ahead of the curve, you can currently trade XCB and CTN on Ping Exchange. Moving on from that. Let's talk a bit about one addition that will drastically impact development on the core blockchain, Foxar. We are expanding the potential of the core blockchain by introducing an accessible development platform for parties interested in the core ecosystem. Our development platform called Foxar, which is actually something similar uh, to the foundry of Ethereum. Um, this will open the door for potential developers who wish to expand on the core blockchain, unleashing their creativity and allowing them to explore uncharted frontiers. There are two important elements that will facilitate an easier development process at the heart of Foxar. One, of course, being smart contracts that are powered by CBC20 token standards. These contracts enable automated, secure, and transparent interactions on our network. The second being CBC20 tokens um, itself. Now, one might ask, what are CBC20 tokens? Well, you see, <laughs> CBC20 token standards are integrated functionalities such as wrapper token, equivalent token, checkable token, and bountyable uh, token contracts, offering a robust and versatile token standard. CBC20 tokens are like the Swiss Army knives of the token world. They offer stability and advanced transactional capabilities and even incentivize users to engage in on on-chain activities. Last but not least, they're upgradable, meaning they're ready to adapt to whatever the future holds. So what exactly makes the CBC20 token standard stand out from the crowd? It's all about versatility. From wrapping and unwrapping tokens to integrating price feeds in order to maintain value equivalence. 
The CBC20 token standard also notably allows issuing and cashing checks for controlled token allowances and introduces a system for assigning and executing bounties in tokens. This is all to ensure that developers have everything they need to bring their visions to life. Basically, making developers like MacGyvers. With technicalities out of the way, potential developers might already be wondering what Foxar offers and how it facilitates a better development environment. To answer that, let's look at four significant features of Foxar itself. The first one being Spark. Spark is Foxar's core testing framework. We can compare it to Truffle, Hardhat, and DAP tools. It simplifies the process of creating and running tests, making it easier for developers to ensure their code behaves correctly and catches any mistakes early on, you know, if there are any. Probe, our tool for successfully and optimally interacting with CVM smart contracts, this be-all and end-all of CVM smart contract interactions on the core blockchain helps you with sending transactions and obtaining chain data itself. Shuttle is a local core node similar to Ganache and the Hardhat network. Essentially, it's like having a mini version of the entire blockchain network running on your own computer, allowing you to interact with the blockchain and contribute to its operation without relying on external services. Then there's Pilot. Pilot is our REPL, uh, which lets developers quickly write and test code for blockchain uh, tasks like checking data, creating smart contracts, or communicating with the blockchain itself. Right, next up, let's talk about the new CorePass update. I am sure many of you are stoked about it. This update was primarily supposed to be uh, to improve um, user experience and simplify the onboarding process for non-Latin alphabet users. So, what can you expect in this upcoming update? First and foremost, significant modifications have been made um, and it we also implemented uh, uh, in a, an entire new flow in the KYC enabling users to accept the extracted data or offer suggestions seamlessly furthermore p2p communication has undergone a complete restructuring, ensuring that peer-to-peer -peer data requests operate with much greater fluidity. Now, each contact voucher, email or phone, is capable of requesting up to 10 OTP codes. Upon reaching this limit, the voucher will be rejected, prompting users to repurchase that particular voucher. In this update, we are also introducing new and higher fees for buying XCB and CTN vouchers directly in the application, which aims to protect the market and make it more worthwhile for users to purchase on Ping Exchange itself. Improvements have also been made to streamline the voucher transaction process, particularly enhancing the smoothness of purchases with CTN. Moreover, new fields for nationality and place of birth have been incorporated into the registration process. And last but not least, where uh, we've resolved quite a few UI bugs that got in the way of the optimal user experience. I also want to take this opportunity to thank all of you for your active participation in the community and your patience as well as your understanding. With that out of the way, let's talk about the Ping Exchange and its update. Wrapping up the weekly recap, let's touch on some 
ping exchange changes and fixes which we've made. We've implemented a max and min price limitation uh, on limit orders to safeguard both the exchange and alpha users according to industry standards. Additionally, we've enhanced the user interface by displaying um, held assets in the portfolio within a model window in the hopes of achieving a more accessible and transparent user experience itself. As for the fixes, there are a couple of features we tried to touch up. Namely, we improved the search functionality for names in the markets uh, list section. We also rectified the token invalidation flow the team also worked on addressing issues related to rounding in the amount displayed in the market trade section. Lastly, we resolved the problem of displaying the trading chart for non-logged in users, making it more user friendly. Next up is something truly exciting, particularly in our opinion. We're thrilled to unveil the finalized visualizations of our revolutionary blockchain hub venue. More than just a workspace, this venue is poised to become the beating heart of the core ecosystem and the vibrant core blockchain community. Nestled in the heart of Bratislava, Slovakia of course, it promises to stand as one of the city's most technologically advanced venues. Designed to be a dynamic hub, this space will seamlessly blend interaction, communication, education, socialization, and entertainment into one encompassing environment, fostering a vibrant sense of community spirit. Whether you're deeply entrenched in the core ecosystem or just embarking on your blockchain journey, this inviting venue will serve as a beacon for our bustling community. Moreover, it doubles as a versatile co-working space, providing an optimal environment for individuals to collaborate, innovate, and bring their ideas to life within the blockchain's walls or the, the hub's walls. Um, here, partnerships can be forged, creativity can flourish, and the future of blockchain can be shaped by those who call it home. We are beyond excited to share this vision with you and look forward to seeing the incredible ways in which our community will utilize and enliven this space. For our Pierre de Résistance and Grand Finale, as you might have noticed today, there are a few samples lying here on my desk for the upcoming brand collections. One of the samples that we received is for Corpass. So as you can see here, it's a pretty nice t-shirt. Then we have, of course, XCB or Core Coin. And lastly, one of the samples that have arrived is our XCB hodler. With our premier branded collection, we aim to encapsulate the spirit of XCB and Corpus into designs that are not just visually appealing, but also meaningful. So let me give you the insights on XCB merchandise. We chose XCB and Hodling to highlight resilience and belief in XCB and Core Blockchain's future. Hodling represents patience and perseverance in a fast-paced world, emphasizing the value of waiting for long-term rewards. This merchandise serves as a reminder of these virtues, fostering a sense of unity and commitment among core coin enthusiasts. 
the Corpus, the Corpus merchandise focus is distinctive with the C-shape um, fingerprint logo and the slogan, put the U in unique, reflecting the app's core mission and securing your identity with state-of-the-art cryptography. This concept is further enriched with the Be Unique slogan, inviting users to be part of the emerging digital society Corpus envisions. In essence, our merchandise is more than just clothing. It's a celebration of the community's resilience, unity, and belief in a secure digital future. In conclusion, our decision to have merchandise about XCB and, uh, XCB and Hodling or Core Pass is about more than just fashion or trends. It's about celebrating a movement that is reshaping the world as we know it. It's about resilience, inclusivity, community, and unwavering belief in a better future. And that officially brings this week's Core Chronicles episode to a close. This week was particularly jam-packed, and we hope you'll enjoy all of the new features, changes, and updates we've made to our entire running and developed ecosystem. Thank you for being an essential part of this project, and I can assure you that the work we've done so far is only the beginning. Please stay safe, keep on hodling, until the next time.